So this... Hey! Uh, lefty! Can you at least let me finish setting it up? Hi, everybody. If you are thinking about an ambulance, you're not happy with the quality of manufactured RVs, Class A, Class C, the cost of all the new Class Bs that are flooding the market, oh my gosh, <laughs> and an ambulance sounds like it might be the answer for you, then you want to subscribe to our channel. You'll get updates on my rig, all the different projects that we do, you're going to get tours of other rigs that I come across out here. A lot of great folks out here doing a lot of amazing things to their ambulances. You'll get to see all that. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to join the fleet, go ahead and pick up a sticker. There's a link down below. Jump over to PayPal. You can get a Campulance Man sticker, a Lefty sticker. So go ahead and do that. Join the fleet and good luck in your search for a new ambulance. I'm always available for any questions you might have. So today, we're going to look at a new update to the Campulance Man life. We got a new shower set up. going to be a problem. You know you just knocked over the camera. You don't look like you care. Okay. It's warmer on this side of the truck, out of the wind. Yeah. So this... Hey! Uh, lefty! Can you at least let me finish setting it up? And I'd like to be the first one in there. Turkey. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? Huh? Dude! So I talked about my previous shower, my green one, that really didn't fare too well and kind of fell apart on me. Now I can't blame that product. It was inexpensive from what I remember and I'll have to look I think it was around $35 and that thing has been in permanent use for many months and I'll put the exact like when I ordered it I'll put it down here on the screen so you can see exactly how long it lasted uh, so I did I get my money's worth I, I think I did now it's my theory that gear like that is really designed for camping trips so weekend trips maybe a week-long trip you set it up you use it you take it down and you go home we're using these things for seven days a week 365 days a year they get set up they get set up permanently through rain and wind and snow and everything so we're really putting them through their paces and so I kind of can understand that they get stressed and I'm not upset that that other one um, got torn up. It was battered and bruised. It performed really well for me for the time I had it, but it's time was done. So I went on Amazon and there's many, many to choose from, obviously. The one that I settled on, it had a couple of features that I was looking for. I needed one that was tall enough. Now my other one technically was tall enough. I could stand in it and I had headroom, but, and you've seen many like this, the design of my other one, it really sloped in at the top. So you're talking about once it got up to where my head was. So if you can imagine, I was in my other one and when I was like washing my hair, I was banging into the to the sides because it really sloped up at, at more of an angle. So when you're looking at one that you're going to buy, just be aware of that. It may have the height, which my other one did, but they slope in so much at the top that it becomes really difficult to be comfortable in it. So when I ordered this one, I didn't 
realize when I was ordering it that it actually has a much better size footprint. And, you know, it's not straight up and down, but it doesn't slope in nearly, nearly as much as my other one did. So this has headroom. I don't know the exact dimension, and I'll list it down here on the screen once I look it up. But I think you can see, you know, I'm six feet tall. I got in this thing yesterday and went, oh my gosh, it has a ton of headroom. And not only does it have a ton of headroom, but it's big up there. So there's a ton of room to, you know, wash my hair and move around. So really, really happily surprised when I set this up yesterday and stepped in it for the first time and realized how big it actually is. So another feature that I needed, and let me unzip it here for you. Another feature that I needed right up here. I needed an opening in the top for my shower head. This one is specifically designed to put a shower through. Perfect. So my shower head lays right here and the round part pops right through that hole. It's the perfect size for it. And I get water coming straight down on me. Now let me see if I can really show how big this is. So I've got my head in this corner. I've got the camera in the other corner. My arm is outstretched. That's a lot of room. I mean, I got to really stretch to touch the other side. And as far as the actual room above my head, there's a foot anyways. So I got in this yesterday for my first shower and I'm not exaggerating. I took my whole shower and I never banged into the sides. I washed my hair twice, totally soaked up with my loofah sponge and my Dove liquid soap and took a beautiful hot shower using about six gallons of water, give or take. Two times I just stood here and did nothing and let the water flow over me. It felt so good to have this much room. I didn't feel at all claustrophobic like I kind of did in the other one. Not claustrophobic, but really closed in and uncomfortable. That is not the case in this one. Uh-oh. I got a little spider in here. Okay, okay, he's outside. So another feature that it had, it has a bottom here. So this is a sheet that's the exact size that it needs to be for the bottom area. It has these connectors that feed through these rings right here and hold it in place. Really, really happy about that. I was using my blue plastic tarp, which was fine, but this just makes it that much easier. This has the traditional small bag there to hold your uh, assorted items. It has strap here for hanging things. That's where I hang my, my remote for my pump, for my water pump. It has a hook right up there in the corner for hanging uh, like the bag showers. It came with these tie down strings, these outriggers. It came with eight of the yellow plastic stakes that are about yay long. I have my own stake, so I didn't use uh, the plastic ones that it came with. It has this um, function right here combined with this loop so you can roll back this opening the door and just strap it to these two hold downs right here, which is cool. So this one was a little bit more money. Uh, it was, and I'll put the price on the screen here because I can't quite remember, but I think it was $56.99 on Amazon. It has a detachable rain fly, which I have on, which hooks in with some elastic straps around these holders right here. So this is optional. You saw that it has a mesh area up there in top. Um, one of my own drawbacks is I have to deal with my buddy here sometimes getting a little bit caught up. Another thing that it has, which I thought was a nice add, it has this elastic strap so when you are putting it away, once you get it coiled up, you can rip this strap around it to hold it 
before you slide it into its carry bag. So I'm calling this shower 2.0. So far, you know, I don't have any longev longevity uh, information on this. I just set it up yesterday, but from its feature set and from the build quality that I see, I would spend the, the $57 if you're looking for a shower that's super comfortable, a lot of features. Thanks everybody for clicking on the video and watching today. Again, if you're thinking about getting an ambulance, subscribe to the channel. Look for a bunch more videos, tours of rigs, project updates. I've got a couple of things I'm working on right now that I want to show everybody. We're thinking about um, getting out of here in the next week or two because the temperatures are going to start climbing down here. And I don't want to get uncomfortable. I don't want Lefty to get uncomfortable. So we're thinking about moving on soon. And I want to get everything buttoned up before we do that. So thanks, everybody. Take care. We'll see you all really soon. Here's the Lefty ear update. Hey. Let me see your ear. So the scab, the last time I washed it, the scab came off. You can just barely see a witness line where the, where the uh, cut was, but it's, for all intents and purposes, it's all healed up. So thank you all again for all your well wishes. Look at this lazy dog. Ha, 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 ha.